now. All right. Welcome to the Fun Facts Battle Team. So we're all doing well. Today's super very special guest, um, Miguel Dustin Pro. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. So why don't you tell a little bit about yourself? Well, uh, as you said, my name is Miguel Pro. I was born in the town of Guadalupe in Mexico in 1891. My father owned a mining company and so he was able to afford me, afford to send me to school. And there I was able to learn a lot of things. Uh, when I was a young adult, I started growing lax in my faith, but my, bro my mother brought me back. And she told me that when I was a child, I actually had told her that I wanted to be a martyr. And I guess as a child, God revealed that to me. I became a priest with the Jesuits in 1925. And I went back to serve my people in Mexico who were undergoing persecution from the government. And in 1927, I was shot by the government. I was executed. And as I died, I spread my arms out like a crucifix and I said, Viva Cristo Re. Hmm. Well, I've got a couple of questions about uh, all that. So um, what made you decide to enter the Jesuit Novit uh, thing? Well, in 1914, the government started persecuting Catholics. And so all of us at the, oh, sorry, the Jesuit novitiate. Uh, when I was a, when I was 19 years old, my two sisters, Maria and Concepcion, they both joined the religious life as nuns. And I was very heartbroken because I felt that I'd lost them. But I came to realize that God was calling them to something more and that he was calling me to something more too and that I ought to follow his call. And that led me to joining the Jesuits to study to become a priest. Um, so for your theological studies, why were you sent to um, Belgium? So in 1914, the government started persecuting Catholics and me and my Jesuit brothers were forced to flee the country. First, we went to California for a year and we studied there and then on to Spain or four more years of intense studying. And then I taught for two years in Nicaragua before coming back to Spain for two years. And for my final year of training in theology, I was sent to Belgium to learn there, where I was also canonized in 1925. Uh, I have two more questions. Uh, what did you mean when you mean Viva Cristo Rey? So Viva Cristo Rey is Spanish for long live Christ the King. It was a rallying cry for the Cristeros who were fighting the government and trying to win freedom for the Catholics in Mexico. And I did it as a sign, not only of support for their cause, but for the fact that I believe that Jesus is the King and that no matter what happens, he will be there to save me. Is there anything else you wanna share with us? When I was a child, my nickname was Coco. And I, when I had to communicate secret, I would always sign my letters with Coco so that the government wouldn't know who I was, but that other people did. So I used it as a code name. Awesome. Um, I have a prayer here. Uh, so I'm a prayer. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. God, Father, you gave your servant Miguel Augustine the grace to seek ardently your greater glory and the salvation of your people. And that through his intercession and following his example, we may serve you and glorify you by performing our daily duties, fulfillingly and joy effectively helping our neighbor. We ask this to Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Well, thank you for joining us on Fun Facts for the Saints. And thank you for having me. It was a pleasure. Thanks, Blessed Miguel.